record this meeting. All right, so uh, let me go full screen here with my presentation. Everybody should be seeing my slides at this point. Um, and to officially kick us off, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on where you are in the world today. My name is Phil Bowers. I am the Director of Marketing here with Grandstream, and we are really, really, really excited uh, for today's topic, for today's webinar, really to get this product launched and into the market. And I'm talking about our much anticipated, long awaited GWN 7800 series of managed network switches. Many of you have probably been hearing about these for the better part of the last six months or so. We've been teasing them a lot. If you visit us at trade shows over the last four to five months, you've probably seen these in person. Um, and I like to say that it, I've been with Grandstream for 12 years now, and I think this is one of the most highly anticipated sought after products that we are coming out with. And to make it even better, it's just the beginning of a whole new line of products for us here at Grandstream. So uh, today we're gonna be really introducing you to the GWN 7800 series. This GWN 7800 series are managed, or excuse me, layer two managed network switches. I'm gonna go through the different models, tell you what's so great about these, give you an idea of how they stack up against the competition, how you manage them, all the great security features, routing features, excuse me, uh, switching features that they offer, PoE features, whatnot. Really set the stage for everything these devices can do um, for you. Um, and then towards the end of the webinar, we'll go into um, actually giving you a sneak peek uh, for basically for thanking you all for being here today, giving you a sneak peek of some stuff that you're going to see, some new products that we're going to release towards the end of the year. Some related to these switches and some are not. Um, before we do get started, I do want to mention that I am joined by our uh, director of technical support, Hugh Wynn, who is going to be managing the chat for us here today. Um, if you do have any questions, the chat is probably the best way to answer those, or excuse me, to ask us those questions. Uh, he will be taking questions as we, call, um, as we go during the webinar. Um, and at the end of the webinar, we will go through uh, any popular or common questions that came in. Again, I'm expecting this to be actually a pretty quick webinar. I think uh, right around the 25 to 30 minute range. Uh, really just a, an introduction here to our, like I mentioned, very highly anticipated sought after GWN 7800 series of managed network switches. So let's get going. Uh, before we get into the nitty gritty of the switches, I uh, want to, the, the switches are obviously the um, latest addition to our GWN series. Hopefully everyone here is very familiar with that GWN series, but we are very excited to be able to say that over the last three years, the GWN series has become Grandstream's fastest growing product line. Um, it has seen over 200% growth each and every year over the last three years. Um, it is really, this, this GWN series is becoming one of our core products. Obviously, you know, we're very well known um, for unified communication solutions and we're not going anywhere with this stuff. We're, you know, the GWN series is a line that we launched just about five years ago at this point. Um, and just like everything we do here at Grandstream, our, our goal is to be that one-stop solution provider, to be able to help our partners and our customers and our resellers to be able to really provide everything under the Grandstream brand. Um, and the GWN series is, is really just the, you know, one of the best examples of that. And again, it has become our fastest growing product line worldwide. This isn't specific to any spe one region or one area of the world. This is a trend worldwide that these GWN series have become our fastest growing product lines. And not only is, are these switches really one of the major pieces that we thought was missing on the networking side, but also one of the major pieces that we didn't have on the UC side. Um, so they're kind of, you know, for those of you that might be new or not super familiar with the GWN series, that is our line of networking solutions, Wi-Fi access points, Wi-Fi routers, management systems, and now these great switches. I'll tell you more about some of the other stuff coming out later 
on next year. Um, but really, just to give you a quick overview, these are kind of the, what you see on the slide is, is what allows our GWN series of networking solutions to stand out. Um, three free management options, which we'll talk a lot about with the, um, the switch here today, GWN Cloud, which is our enterprise grade um, Wi-Fi management platform, no limit on sites, no limit on access points, uh, gives you the ability to set up and control. Again, this is a, these are all free platforms, uh, you know, sites, different sites, different networks across multiple offices, um, regardless, or multiple locations. Regardless of where they are, we have GWM Manager, which is our free software-based Wi-Fi management platform. You can download it off of our website for free. All the same features and functionality for the most part is GWM Cloud, just a local on-premise software that you would install on a PC on your network, as well as the built-in controllers that are in all of our access points. And I'll tell you about the, um, as we go later, the switches ability to manage themselves with, the built, with their built-in web user interface. We offer really easy installation. For the most part, especially on the access points, you can install our, our APs, add them back to your network, get them fully configured just by scanning a barcode on the back of the device. Um, our GWN Cloud mobile app has a barcode scanner. You just scan the barcode on the back of the access point or the router and then, or I believe, or the switch. Um, and then that gives you the ability to just have it added right back to your network quickly and easily. We have a large and very rapidly growing portfolio of not only access points and routers, but also now switches. Uh, we have a lot more uh, coming next year in terms of all three of those devices, access points, routers, and switches. Again, I'll tell you about that a little later on. And we offer a variety of great real-time monitoring alerts and reports across all of our GWN solutions, um, whether this be through the management platforms, through the web user interface, through the devices, a lot of great stats, monitoring alerts, reports, uh, automatic troubleshooting that you have access to with our GWN series. All right, so with that said, let's transfer over and we'll spend the rest of the webinar talking about our GWN7800 series, Layer 2 Plus Managed Network Switches. Um, so everybody, you know, as, as I mentioned earlier and as I've heard Hugh say quite often recently, uh, we've both with, been with Grandstream for quite a while. I've been here for 12 years. Hugh's been here for 15 years. I think the majority of the time we've been here, we've been getting feedback from partners, customers, resellers that, hey, you guys should come out with switches. Well, we've got them. Um, we definitely put um, a lot of time, research, and development into these. We didn't just want to roll out a series of switches with basic features. We wanted them to be able to compete on a feature basis with some of the best switches on the market, also on, on a cost basis, um, as, as I'm sure many of you are used to with our solution. So the first um, what series of switches that we're rolling out is this 7800 series right here. There are six models within the series. Three models have PoE. Three models do not have PoE. I'll break down the models more specifically for you <clears throat> on the next slide. With the three models, you're going to get either eight ports on the GWN 7801 models, 16 ports on the 7802 models, and uh, excuse me, 24 ports on the uh, GWN 7603. Again, those are each of those models, the, the 02, the 03, the O, uh, excuse me, the 01, the 02, and the 03, apologies. Um, are going to have one model that um, has 8, 16, or uh, 24 gigabit ports, and the model that ends in P, which is going to be uh, the obviously the PoE models. Um, the 7801 gives you two gigabit SFP ports, uh, whereas the other two models give you four. So yes, there are SFP ports built right into it. Uh, one of the great things about this device is the management options that it offers. Um, and this is you know something really continuing on the legacy of our GWN solutions manage via the embedded controller. It says embedded controller there. I should be, uh, I should mention that that is actually just managed. It is able to manage itself via the web user interface. We use the embedded controller tech or terminology with some of our access points. No, that doesn't fully apply here, but again, just to be, be clear, that means that you can manage these switches themselves with the built-in web user interface. Also management via GWN Cloud or GWN Manager. I'm gonna go into a little bit uh, more details on the cloud management um, and what's available and what will be available uh, on some subsequent slides. 
built in QoS, advanced VLAN, um, built into these switches, as well as the ability to support IP version 4 and IP version 6 networks. So, um, as I'm sure everybody is well aware, you know, the, the predominant use of these switches or switches in general is adding endpoints expand to your network, expanding your network. Um, all, of our, uh, all of our switches are not, are compatible with all brands of devices. I should point that out. These are not just to work with grand stream endpoints. These are uh, compatible with all brands of devices. Um, so whether it be grand stream or third party, IP phones, Wi-Fi IPs, routers, IP cameras, or any other POE equipment, you'll be fully, um, you'll, th these will give you everything that you need. So again, to go through the models a little bit more in depth, you see the three, uh, three models here. And again, each one of these models has a regular version. Uh, for example, the 7801 does not have POE or does not offer PoE, but the 7801P does. Same thing with 7802P um, versus 7802 and 7803 versus 7803P. So basically the main, you know, the big differentiation is the amount of ports, you're gonna get eight or 16 or 24, depending on the model. Two built-in SFP ports. Again, those are built in, those are dedicated, those aren't ports that have to be configured to be one or the other, or multi-purpose ports, that's the word I was looking for. So you get two of those on the 7801, you get four of those SFP ports on both 7802 and both 7803 models. Um, one of the great things about these devices, um, which we'll go into more on subsequent slides, is the ability for them to offer up to 30 watts per PoE port. As you see on the bottom there, um, in terms of PoE, the max power, uh, max PoE power, 7801, 120 watts, 7802P is 240 watts, and 7803P is 360 watts. We do offer dynamic power allocation, so the device is, uh, is able to, on a regular basis, dynamically allocate PoE as needed. Um, but a great feature that we do offer here is up to 30 watts per PoE port. Um, do want to mention that the 7801, both of, or 7801, 7801P are, it's a little bit of a smaller box, so it's really more meant for a desktop mount or to be used on a desktop, whereas the 7802 and 7803 and the P models within those are both rack mountable. Uh, so the two on the right are rack mountable, the one on the left is not. Um, and also, I guess the last thing to mention here is that the 7802 models and the 7803 models do have an integrated fan um, in them. Um, I believe it's the POE models that have those integrated fans on the 7802P and 7803P. So that's a quick differentiation of the models for you. Again, 8, 16, or 24 ports. The P models offer POE, where the models that don't have P in them do not two or four gigabit SFP ports. You got the integrated fans on the O2 and O3 models, um, 120, 240, or 360 max PoE or max PoE power. Uh, that is in watts, I should have mentioned. And I guess I mentioned, and as we'll talk about here again in a second, 30 watts per port on all of these models. So in terms of the management, one of the, the truly differentiators of this device is the fact that it can be managed by the cloud. It's one of the, I think, the best features that we offer for uh, these switches. Uh, should point out that at the moment you are able to manage uh, these switches from GW and cloud by accessing the web user interface. Uh, very soon in a firmware update, uh, software update for GW and cloud, there will be full support and management for the GW and 7800 layer two um, switches uh, available soon. So keep an eye out for that. Um, frankly, by the time most of you get them, this should be the, the full cloud uh, management should be fully supported. You also have the GWN Manager support. Again, GWN Manager is our software-based on-premise management platform, downloaded for free 
run it on a PC on your network. There is also the web user interface of these switches, which does allow you to manage the switches itself. Um, built into our management capabilities is the monitoring of the CPU and the memory usage um, through the, inter the web user interfaces or the cloud interface here. Um, we've got a variety of common networking uh, tools built into it, ping, trace route, UDLD, copper test, uh, really just giving you the ability to make sure that, you know, your network is working, that the wires are working, that the devices are working that are connected to your switches. Uh, does give you the ability to support RMON, syslog, and traffic statistics for network optimization. Really, they're giving you the ability to see what's going on with your network and then to be able to adjust it based off of, you know, traffic needs or bandwidth needs or power needs or whatnot. Um, also built in LLDP and LLDP MED for automatic discovery, provisioning, and management of endpoints devices. So super quick and easy to uh, not only, you know, install these switches, but then to locate and provision the devices um, that are going to be connected with them or with uh, to those switches uh, for very easy setup and management. Um, and just to give a more visual example of it, again, here are the, the three different management options we offer. Cloud, our software controller, um, or um, excuse me, our software management platform, or the web user interface of the switches. Um, again, the, at the moment, uh, with GW and cloud, you have the ability to access uh, the switches web user interface. Soon we will launch full GW on cloud management support for these switches. Basically by the time that most of you all get them, uh, that should be fully supported. Um, and just to go into a little bit more detail on GW on cloud, it is fully free, like I mentioned earlier. Um, I, I say there's no limit on devices. I think the limit's 3 million. So I don't think expect anybody to, you know, here at least to really come close uh, to the 3 million access points. So basically unlimited, uh, gives you unlimited sites. It runs on Amazon, Amazon Web Services. So it gives you that 99.9999% reliability. Does have a mobile app, which makes, as I mentioned earlier, uh, installing devices, adding them back to your network, very quick and easy. Um, offers you secure cloud provisioning, GWN Manager, just the software version of GWN Cloud. Fully free, limit on that is up to 3,000 devices. So still really an enterprise, supports an enterprise grade deployment meant for local server deployments. Then you can obviously also manage these switches with the web user interface uh, of the switches itself, which allows the switch to manage itself. And again, that's fully free, just like all of our embedded controllers, which is what we call them, or the web user interface management for these devices um, is fully free. There's no feature you have to buy or extra package that is fully free. So again, one of the best things about our GWN solutions um, is the fact that we have these multiple free management software or solutions, especially for these switches. Um, and especially with the switches, the cloud management, which is a big differentiator for these. In terms of PoE uh, support, I should, uh, like I mentioned earlier, any of the models that end in the letter P will support PoE, 7801P, 7802P, 7803P. Uh, 7801 will give you eight PoE ports, 7802P, 16 PoE ports, 7803P. 24 ports, we do have models coming in the future that will offer more than 24 ports. So if that's something that you're interested in, we'll talk about that in just a couple of minutes, but it is coming soon. Um, these devices, just to, again, to point it out, does support dynamic PoE and PoE plus power allocation per port. Uh, we do have the ability to offer 30 watt max output per PoE port. And then again, with that dynamic power allocation, the device has the ability to pretty much allocate PoE as needed to the ports. And that's an automatic process. Well, another one of the great features um, of this device. I think some people have mentioned this as being one of, if not the best feature we offer here, um, is the 30 watts per port and the automatic power allocation offered there. Uh, yeah, so again, 30 watts maximum output per PoE port um, is really the big thing to remember here from this slide and the automatic power allocation. In terms of security protection and encryption, um, 
before I can't go on, just wanted to make sure that Hugh didn't try to pop in there and say something. Thought I heard something on my end, but all right, keep going. Um, security protection and encryption. Um, we've pretty much got everything that you would expect and more uh, in terms of security protection built into these layer two switches. Full packet filtering capabilities built into it. Um, you have uh, ARP inspection. You have IP source guard. You've got a variety of DOS protections, land attacks, MRF attack, TCP, S. YN attack, ping, flooding. Uh, we support port security um, to prevent MAC address attacks and control the network of the uh, network traffic of those ports. DHCP snooping, static and dynamic MAC tables with MAC table filtering. So it really gives you the ability with these, again, layer two plus switches to, to get pretty in depth in terms of your security protection, your encryption um, with these layer two plus managed switches. In terms of switching capability, we've got 8K static, dynamic, and filtering of MAC addresses, 4K VLAN. So that's uh, from everything that I understand. Pretty, pretty, uh, pretty competitive there with the 8K and the 4K um, uh, fil me, filtering, tagging, whatnot support. Got a, it, it does have a built-in VLAN virtual interface. Should mention that. Gives you eight linked aggregation groups. I know that um, when we had a webinar yesterday, that was a pretty popular question about link aggregation groups. So it does offer you eight here um, as well. So lots of great switching capability built in. Obviously, as you see down there, uh, 64 instances for SCP, RTSP, and MSTP as well. Um, but again, 8K, uh, 8K static dynamic and filtering for MAC addresses and 4K uh, for VLANs. And again, does have the built-in VLAN virtual interface. And again, eight link aggregation groups built into these layer two plus managed network switches. Does have built-in QoS as well. Uh, port priority, priority mapping, queue scheduling, traffic shaping, route, or excuse me, rate limit, uh, the ability, again, to support IP version 4 and IP version 6 networks as well. Um, should mention that all of, all of the, the uh, QoS features I just mentioned are built in, fully supported right now. Um, within the next uh, firmware upgrade, we will add auto QoS. So it gives you the built-in ability automatically for the device to detect and prioritize voice, video, data and other latency sensitive app or packets or applications that you might uh, you might want. Again, all of the QoS features aside from the bottom bullet point are fully supported now. Auto detection coming very soon. Uh, just like the GW and cloud support or management support should be uh, fully supported by the time most of you are able to get your hands on these devices. But again, full QoS built in gives you the ability to, um, you know, to prioritize uh, traffic as you wish and does very soon have the auto QoS feature coming in. Um, and this is something that we, we believe that we have uh, one of the stronger QoS protocols or technologies um, in the industry. And it's really just because we've been, you know, we, our history is on the VoIP side, um, but we now do, we have then got into voice video data. So, you know, we've really had to optimize and rely a lot on our QoS because of the wide variety of solutions we make and our history and voice. Um, so we, again, really believe that we have a, one, of the, one of the stronger QoS um, technologies out there. Beginning to wrap up here. So if you do have any questions, feel free to send them in now. Um, if there was anything that you were waiting on. Uh, one of the best, uh, just to begin to wrap us up here. Uh, one of the best things about these switches, and, and as I mentioned earlier, you know, and, and as I'm sure you all know, we have at the moment, I believe we're, we're close to 120 products. We have really built our brand on being the one stop communication solutions provider. Um, you know, obviously I told you the story earlier about how, or actually I'm not sure if I did, but basically over the course of our history, we continue to add devices and product categories and management uh, platform categories to our inter excuse me to our portfolio 
really to be able to be that one-stop solution provider. We want to be, and, and we really are one of the few companies in the world that gives you the ability to get everything you need for a communication solution, now communications and networking solution, all from one manufacturer. So, you know, in addition to these switches being just highly needed devices and solutions for every single, um, every single communications or networking setup out there, they also obviously pair with every single device that we have. Almost every, obviously every, for the most part, every single endpoint we make, uh, no, I was gonna say, yes. Let me take a step back here. Every single endpoint that we make, obviously, fully compatible with it. You know, we've been hearing from our customers, our partners for years, that they're installing every other piece of their deployments of uh, being Grandstream products. And really, the switches was the main thing missing. We had the endpoints. We had the management platforms. We needed those switches, and now we've got them. And again, this initial uh, the 7800 series that were la launched last week, um, which is the first series our layer two plus, we also have layer three and multi gig layer three coming up next year. And I'm gonna tell you about that more in a moment. But again, you know, one of the best things about these switches um, in terms of our brand and the way we're talking about them is really just the completion of the puzzle, the final piece, the anchor of our solution um, that gives you the ability to go end to end from management platform all the way out to the endpoints all under the Grandstream brand. So in terms of deployment scenarios, I'll go through this pretty quickly because as I just kind of touched on, as I think everybody knows, you know, every, everyone needs a switch. Any place where you have any type of communication network, any type of, um, you know, wired or wireless network, you're going to need a switch. Um, so we've mentioned, obviously, the big ones here, enterprises, small to medium-sized businesses. Hotels and convention centers is actually a really overlooked one because of the need to, you know, ha you have uh, specific, you have endpoints in each room. They're, they're quite spread out. Switches are, are really, um, you know, really a, a, a very important part of those hotel and convention center networks, schools and universities, the amount of technology uh, that is in schools and universities now um, is pretty impressive. And, and, you know, obviously, as we continue to get smarter with education and, and incorporate more technology, not just in colleges and universities, but all the way down to, you know, elementary schools, um, the need for, frankly, we've, we've come across schools that put switches in every single classroom because of the amount of technology that they have running. Healthcare, call center, obviously. Um, you know, these are just probably the, the six major ones, the six biggest ones that came to mind. But, you know, as, as I mentioned, and as I'm sure everybody here knows, pretty much every single deployment um, uh, is going to need switches, whether it's voice, whether it's a video communicate or video conferencing, whether it's a, a mix of the two, whether it's just a networking solution, whether it's a facility access solution, whether it's IP video surveillance solution, or any solution that combine, combines any parts of those, all of those are obviously going to need, require switches to be able to build, manage, and maintain a secure and productive network. All right, so we are at 29 minutes after the hour, so just on time. This is the uh, last slide here. So just to give you a little bit of a sneak peek, we're gonna transition over here into some exciting stuff that you're gonna see coming from us next year. Wanted to give everybody uh, a big shout out and thank you for, for joining us here today. Um, and this is one of the ways that we're, we're gonna try to do it. Give you a sneak peek on some stuff that frankly not too many people uh, outside of Grandstream really know that much about. Um, so again, thanks. I wanna you know, send a big shout out to everybody. We know that it's towards the end of the year, it's the holiday season. We know everybody's busy, starting to get into the holiday mood, Christmas shopping, uh, holiday shopping, whatnot. Um, so we really appreciate you taking some time out of your schedule to spend some time with us and learn about our switches. And to wrap us up here, uh, again, sneak peek at some cool stuff you're going to see coming from us in 2023. Uh, one thing I should mention, the, the order of this is pretty much the order in which you can expect these to come out next year. And I'll give you a little bit more detail on when we're expecting these. Uh, the first one at the top, our GHCP series of hotel phones. Some of you may have seen these because we've actually been 
teasing them quite a bit recently. Uh, some of the events we've been at have actually displayed these. These are, as you can imagine with the hotel foam, pretty basic, uh, simple, we call them compact models. Um, two different models that will be in the series. Each one is gonna have a phone that is offered in white and a phone that is offered in black, pretty much to pertain to all design needs. Um, you're gonna have, uh, yeah, so keep an eye out for those. Uh, there's gonna be one pretty, pretty basic model and one model that's gonna look a little bit more like what you're used to um, from, a, from a, a desktop IP phone. One of the models, I'm, let's try to describe it here. One of the models looks like if you ever stay in a hotel, a lot of hotels uh, have the, in the um, bathrooms have these very basic kind of old school looking phones um, for emergency calls. One of them's gonna look like that. And the other one, if for those of you that may have been with Grandstream for a while, the other one actually reminds me quite a bit of our GXP 1160 from back in the day, the 1100s. Uh, pretty compact desktop um, model. So anyway, specifically made for hotels. They're going to work in a lot of other similar environments to hotels, uh, college dorms, apartment complexes, common areas, whatnot. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, you can actually check our website next week and you'll see the product page up for those, although we will not officially launch them until early January. Uh, we are also uh, probably in February going to launch uh, the our next series of wired routers, the multi-WAN VPN gigabit wired routers. Uh, this next series, which again, you can expect to see in February, um, are gonna be more SMB type. I believe that they both do 2.2 gigs per second in terms of throughput. Again, these are wired routers. Uh, so keep an eye for that. Look in February, I know a lot of you are, are very, we're in the past very fond of our GWN 7000. Well, we're finally going to have an updated model and replacement for you on that side. Uh, we are also, as I mentioned a couple of times, moving down the list here, uh, working on layer three switches. These layer two plus managed switches that you just saw here, the GWN 7800 series, that is just the first six switch models we are working on. I believe we have over 20 switch models that are gonna come out next year in addition to these. All of those are gonna be layer three plus or above. We've got layer three switches that we're expecting probably, I think for April, May timeframe. The bottom of this page shows you layer three multi gigabit switches. Those are planned for the end of the year. I would say that those are more, um, yeah, more, more the towards the end of next year, but just something that we wanted to mention was in the pipeline. Um, and also, um, as you guys saw, we, we rolled out a bunch of Wi-Fi access, Wi-Fi 6 access points in a Wi-Fi 6 router this year. We have more Wi-Fi 6 access points, uh, more Wi-Fi 6 routers coming out next year as well. So quick sneak peek here on some of the exciting stuff in our pipeline, some of the stuff that, you know, we're, we're getting pretty close to being ready to tell you about. Obviously, a lot of this is networking. Um, as I mentioned, we, these six switches are just six of, I think, 20 to 25 that will be out by the end of next year. Uh, the layer three switches should be available um, around April, May timeframe, um, if we're able to stay on schedule. And then we've obviously got more routers, more access points, um, and those hotel phones. So keep an eye out for this stuff. Um, again, the, the stuff that you can expect within, I'll say, the next three months or so would be the top two there, the hotel phones, and those multi-WAN wired routers. Layer 3 switches available, again, April, May timeframe. So keep an eye out. Obviously, there's a lot more in our pipeline than, than just this, a lot more in development, but really wanted to, to kind of tease these as most of these, you know, have a, a pretty good correlation here to the switches we were talking about and are things that people have been asking quite a bit about recently. With that said, that wraps up what we had planned for today's introduction of our GWN 7800 series, Layer 2 Plus Managed Network Switches. Um, if you do have any questions at this point, feel free to uh, send them over to us in the chat. Um, at this point, before we begin to wrap up, uh, should bring in Hugh and see if there are any, any common questions that we should address out loud or anything that I missed that we maybe should point out, anything along those lines. 
Uh, thanks, Phil. Yeah, you know, we had uh, it's a great bunch of questions. You know, a lot of them were unique, so I really appreciate that. Um, you know, we did have uh, a couple of, of questions regarding some detailed statistics on the fans on the switches. Uh, just to clarify, the, the A port model, the 7801 and the 7801P, are fanless. Uh, the other two models uh, do have integrated fans. I don't know the, the detailed statistics on, on the fans, such as the operating speed and uh, sound levels, but uh, we'll get that information out to everybody as soon as I find out. Um, <clears throat> I think the other common question uh, would be related to the SFP ports. Um, you know, these, are, these are isolated ports, meaning that you know, they're not shared with the ethernet ports that are on the switches. Uh, so, for example, you know, the eight ports, uh, the 7801 model has eight gigabit Ethernet ports and two SFP ports. You're able to use those two SFP ports uh, in addition to the eight gig ports, um, which gives you, uh, being that it's a 10 port, uh, gives you 20 gig uh, backplane, uh, full non-blocking switches. Um, I think those are the main questions that, uh, that are common, everything else that so we... Covered. Um, I guess another really important one is the is the warranty. Um, oh yeah, they, great yeah. point. So we can talk about that one. Didn't mean to steal your thunder on that one, but yeah, I honestly should have led with the warranty. Um, so just so everybody knows, one of the another great thing about our GWN series is starting at the beginning of last year, every GWN series device comes with a three year warranty. That is correct three-year manufacturer warranty. Um, in most cases, that is triple what we see from most other manufacturers. I know uh, one of the, the big companies in this space goes to 18 months, but we really haven't seen anybody else go beyond 18 months with the warranty. So we got a th full three-year manufacturer warranty on any device that starts with GWN, not just the switches, obviously, or any of our access points, routers, um, any future switches, whatnot. Uh, so I think that that really just kind of goes to show how much how stable and how much we trust these devices. Um, as I as I mentioned, this GWN series has been out for just about five years now. We've been um, they've been deployed all over the world by some of the biggest enterprises and service providers, um, and we continue to receive nothing but great feedback and have great experiences with it. So um, again, a full three year warranty on on these switches and any other GWN series device, which is a great thing um, to remember. And really, uh, again, just goes to show how, how powerful and reliable our devices are. You also had a note here just from my looking at my notes of things I wanted to make sure we mentioned here today. I don't think I mentioned at any point that there is a console port on all of these devices for those of you that might want to manage it um, or utilize it that way, that is available. Yeah, it's a great point. Uh, we do have console ports on all of the devices for management. Uh, we also do support uh, CLI management uh, where you can uh, SSH into um, any of the uh, interfaces uh, to manage the devices that way. I know some of you hardcore switch guys uh, prefer the CLI, uh, as do I, uh, over a web interface. Uh, so that's available. Sweet. All right. Well, if nothing else, we can wrap up for today and let everybody get back to their day. We'll hang around for a couple of minutes to answer any questions that, might, that you might have not asked yet. So feel free to hang around and, and ask, them some, ask us some questions. We'll be here for a couple of additional minutes. But for everyone else, uh, once again, want to thank you for attending today's webinar. It was recorded. I will send out a recording and the slides to everybody that was here today. Uh, one thing I did want to mention on these um, about these switches is the availability of them. We released them officially last Monday. They generally hit our warehouse uh, about a little over a week ago. So your distribution partner should be getting them in within the next couple of weeks, if, if not this week. So keep checking with them. They'll be available uh, for full purchase very soon. And then once, obviously, once we hit January, um, they'll be fully and readily available as you need them. 
So with that, we'll wrap it up for today. Once again, uh, thanks everyone for joining. Uh, again, no, it's a really busy time of year. The holidays are right upon us. The new year is right upon us. I know a lot of us are, are closing out the year while also simultaneously trying to plan and strategize for next year. So we really appreciate that uh, you took some time out of your day to learn about our switches, learn a little bit more about Grandstream. Um, we are obviously here to help you. Anything we can do uh, for you, that, that's why we're here. So please reach out um, and let us know how we can help you or help you learn more about these devices. And yeah, I want to wish uh, everybody a happy holiday, a happy new year, and uh, we hope to see you again very soon. Take care and enjoy the rest of your day.